Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back, finally, to another video. Listen, second episode of the year, we're like halfway through January, I'm, I'm sorry. If you saw my community post, or you follow me on Twitter, which by the way, you should follow me on Twitter, I had quite the eventful end of last year and start of this year. Of course, we had FNAF Security Breach come out, we did a whole playthrough on that. I still have a bit more SB content I want to cover, since I know a lot of people have been wondering, what are my thoughts on the game? What are my theories on the game? So I will be doing more videos on that game. But we finished our playthrough. Right, Christmas came, I got freaking COVID, that sucked. Had it all the way through New Year's, and then I was recovering a couple weeks into January, and we're finally back. But first up, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the support. While I was gone, the channel freaking blew up, all thanks to that 150 random FNAF facts video, which I'm still proud of. Not how I sound in that video, but the editing I'm proud of. So yeah, apologies I didn't have like a celebration for the end of the year or a whole bunch of videos to kick off this year. I was a little busy with SB, with being sick with COVID, but we're all good now, right? I feel fine. I'm ready to hop back into making some more content. And while I've been gone, we've gotten a lot a lot of news. We got some port news, we got some fanverse news, official merchandise news. I mean, even the other day we got two brand new books revealed, and speaking of books, we got the ultimate guide to talk about, the how to draw FNAF book to talk about, but I thought I'd keep the return pretty plain and simple with a merchandise review video on some brand new, well, I say brand new, it's not nearly as brand new as it was gonna be when I wanted to upload this video, but some pretty relatively new FNAF security Breach merch. So let's get this long intro out of the way. Hit the like button, subscribe. We're almost at 30,000 subs, which again is crazy. And let's kick off this video with a few squish me's. To make things easier, I've already taken everything out of their boxes and packages, so I'm still gonna show them off, but keep in mind, just for the sake of time, my time, they're already out of the box. But not too long ago, we got some brand new squish me's. These are actually jumbo, jumbo squish me's. So as you'll see, See, these things are pretty big. I mean, compared to like a like a pop figure, I've got a little Sonic right here. They're bigger than a pop, you know, almost maybe double, like 1.5 times the size. These things are huge. The detail, I mean, they look like the characters, not a whole bunch of detail on these guys. Here's Freddy as well. <laughs> they just look funny, you know, not a whole bunch of detail, which for $15, even though these things are jumbo size, you know, I'd hope for a bit more detail. But the main thing is that these guys, they do, I mean, they do squish, as you can see, they do squish. But I mean, if you're getting them for detail, maybe don't get these. If you're getting them for squishy, definitely get them. We also got some more Just Toys products in the form of FNAF Craftables. They're just little miniature statues that you can build, which I think it's a, a pretty neat, Selling point, you know, being able to build the actual, ah, this way, <laughs> the actual, you know, figures. The figures themselves, eh, not really the best, especially when these things cost, I think it's like 10 bucks each. It's crazy. Like these things don't really have a whole lot of detail. They look kind of funny. The whole building aspect is kind of annoying since they can fall apart very easily. So this is Freddy. Big head, huge jaw, holding his microphone. I got a set of five and I got two Freddies. I got everybody else, all I'm missing is Vanny. Here's Monty, and here's his, uh, <laughs> his palm tree. It doesn't stay on his thing though, because again, when you can build things, they can also fall apart very easily, because you have to be able to build them very easily. I mean, they do look like the characters, but again, not a whole lot of detail, which is kind of upsetting. Here's Chica. She actually doesn't look that bad, I don't think. Definitely, probably the best one, I'd say. A lot of detail. You know, she's got a speaker here. I don't know what this is. Yeah, actually not that bad. Probably the best one. Still looks weird, the mold. Still missing a lot of detail, but compared to the other ones, she's not that bad. But then we get to the bad one, which is Roxanne Wolf. She does not look good at all. Keep in mind, this is what she looked like on the box. These are not the same thing. <laughs> These are most definitely not the same thing at all. I like her pose. I like the mold. I think it's probably the best one, but you know, the detail, it's just not there at all. She's also gray 
for some reason, not purple, gray. Yeah, just honestly, not the best merch we've seen. But now let's move on to some of the better merchandise in this video. The Game Theory Creator Inc. FNAF Security Breach Collaboration. It's a whole lot of things. First, I want to start it off with the lamp. This is the one they did earlier. As you can see, it has the FNAF 1 gang. This one, Security Breach Gang. I'll show you on the box because it's easier. You got Monty, Chica, up here is Vanny, Roxanne, Freddy Main Center, Freddy Fez, Bears Mega Pizza Plex. It's actually a pretty cool design, I think. And here's the light. Again, you can't really see a whole lot of detail. Oh, actually you can. And here's the light in action. Hey, it looks pretty good. And it switches between di different colors, as you can see. Going to orange, now it's red. Now it's purple, like purple guy. Going to blue. It's, it's actually pretty good. Next up in the Creator Inc. merchandise, we have some Security Breach pins. So you got Freddy, Rockstar, Monty saying Roar with a little holographic thing. Look at that, that's cool. Chica with her guitar saying Let's Party. And then you have Roxanne with Skills. I don't know why she says Skills. I guess because of the racing game. But these are pretty cool. They're pretty big though, so... I don't really know where I'm gonna put them, if I'm gonna put them on anything. For the most part, they look pretty good. Roxanne looks a bit strange. Same thing with Monty and Chica. Freddy looks the best, I'd say. And then you have those same designs, but this time as uh, patches that you can stick on clothing. Again, they're so huge. Like, I, I can barely fit maybe two of these on a t-shirt or a jacket or, or, or something. These are huge, but they do come out very well. They look fantastic. Probably because they're so big. Then you've got a lanyard, which you can put your keys, or if you go to like a convention, you can put your pass on, on the lanyard. The same design is on the actual lanyard itself. And then you have, look at this, little Rockstar Freddy. And then you have a place to put, you know, said badges or, you know, passes, what have you. The photo pass to go hang out with the Rockstar anima- or the, the Glam Rock animatronics. That is not the first time I've made that mistake. All right, there's too many goddamn characters in this franchise. Next up, we've got a whole bunch of socks with, again, the same design. They're made out of a strange material, so it's probably not socks I'd wear a whole lot. But overall, I mean, it's the same designs. They look pretty cool, I guess, if you want to wear them on your socks. And then you have more of a, like, a neon lights aesthetic to them. What does that say? Oh, it says Glam Rocks. Huh, would you look at that? You got Chica, Monty, Right there, Roxanne and Freddy at the top. Pretty cool designs, I like them. Again, not sure if socks were the best <laughs> article of clothing to put them on, but you know, I bought them, I'll wear them, I guess. These are made of a much better material than the other ones, so I'd probably wear these over the other ones. And now I think all we have left are some t-shirts to put on. I got all the t-shirts, Freddy, Monty, Chica, Roxanne, Vanny. I didn't get any of the jackets because those were pretty pricey. First t-shirt is a completely black one that just says, you know, security breach. It's got the logo on the front. It's a fantastic t-shirt. And then on the back, you have Vanny, because they decided, you know what, making a plain black t-shirt? Nah, that's lame. Let's throw Vanny on the back. I would have accepted just the logo. That would have been cool. I mean, it's a cool design. It's nice. I like it, but do you really need it? Hey, not bad. How's the back looking? Oh, sick, baby. Look at that. Not bad. I kind of like it. Again, I would have I would have been fine with just the logo. Vanny on the back is cool, but again, I don't really see why it was necessary. I like it. I like the design. It's cool. Just kind of a weird addition to throw on the back. Next t-shirt is... Who is this? Oh, it's freaking Monty, baby. My man. So this is for Monty's Gator Golf, home of the Hurricane Hole-in-One. Nice! This is sick! And if you've played the game, or you've seen someone play the game, these are their action figure poses and designs. I think that's so funny. I'm guessing that's just the reference they were given. But yeah, all these other shirts, they have nothing on the back, it's just the design on the front with the four, uh, <laughs> Rockstar? Glam Rocks, God damn it! Glam Rock animatronics. So here it is, Monty's Gator Golf. Again, home of the Hurricane Hole-in-One. Not bad. I kind of dig it. All the designs I love, by the way. Feels good. You know, the material is great. It doesn't feel like a strange, cheap, 
Halloween t-shirt you'd buy at like Party City or something. No, this feels pretty good. And again, the design, pretty spot on. I love it. I dig it. <laughs> Going through these kind of fast because I mean, it's just the design of the t-shirt, not really uh, much different. Here is Chica's Glamrock Salon, I think. All right, interesting. It just says Chica's Glamrock. <laughs> There's no... All right, so the salon in the game itself belongs to Roxanne's Raceway, so interesting that they kind of gave it to Chica for the t-shirt, or who knows, maybe it was going to be for Chica, like, early on in development, and they switched it to Roxanne, I don't know. But this is Chica, looks pretty good, again, that is the action figure design, looks nice. And here it is, a big complaint I see about, you know, merchandise like this that has the characters and the characters' names is that it's difficult to wear in public. Because, like, let's be honest, I probably won't be walking around town, you know, sporting my Chica's Glamrock Salon t-shirt just because it so apparently has a FNAF aesthetic to it. You know, obviously, I mean, this is Chica. It does say Chica. Like, you know, I'd be able to wear this in videos or maybe if I have like a jacket on, I can just pull it over the jacket. But I think people were hoping for a bit more subtlety with the t-shirts in this wave of merchandise, which I think is completely understandable, unfortunately, or fortunately in this case, because I, I do like the designs, this is what we got. So kind of frustrating. I know some people are like, I wish it was a bit more subtle. Hopefully sometime in the future we can get stuff something like that. But again, even though I personally would not wear this out in public, I, I still dig the designs. Ooh, next up is Freddy's Phaser Blast, as they call it in the game. Obviously, it's meant to be Phaser Blast, but because everything's Freddy Fazbear, it's Phaser Blast. So I guess what's interesting here is that the Phaser Blast is actually, you know, Freddy's mini game. We could have assumed that because it's called Phaser Blast. Again, Freddy Fazbear, do you get the joke at this point? They do it a whole lot in the game. Way, way, way too many times in the game. Uh, but yeah, this is technically Freddy's mini game. Again, pretty sick design. It goes along with the, you know, Phaser Blast aesthetic of it. Way to go, Superstar! Look at this! Again, I love the designs. I know some people aren't gonna like it because it's not as subtle, again, like I mentioned, but I dig it. I think it's awesome. You know, I, I really don't care if people know, like, hey, that's the Five Nights at Freddy. I don't care. Because the designs are just, man, they're so cool. I love it. I don't know how much longer this is gonna be available. I'll leave it linked down below in case you do want to get some. I know some stuff is most likely already sold out. And again, keep in mind that this isn't like Funko, you know, this isn't just toys, which, I mean, <laughs> the craftables are like 10 bucks, so maybe this is just toys. But some of this stuff is actually pretty expensive, so just keep that in mind. I think in total, I spent about $200 on, on all of this Creator Ink stuff, so hey, if you're watching and, and you're not subscribed yet, Please frickin' do so. I spent too much money on this video. And the final one is our girl, Roxanne Wolf and her racing club. Not the raceway, Roxanne's or Roxy's raceway, the racing club. I don't know if this was a early name for the attraction for, you know, the minigame, what have you. Um, but I mean, it's interesting. It's not Roxy's raceway, it's the racing club. Which, in full honesty, there's probably some like club subscription service you know vip pass to get into the racing club at the at the mega pizza plex that's definitely a fazbear entertainment move and here we go she looks pretty good nice i will say uh the eyes are green i got pointed this out uh someone pointed this out to me a little bit ago her eyes are green on the t-shirt uh, but in the game and on the website, they're yellow. Now, normally I'd say, like, I really don't care, because to be honest, I don't. But the fact that it's on the website and then the t-shirt has them be green, that's kind of false marketing. I know, it's it's eyes. They're like two pixels on the t-shirt. You can't really tell. But the fact that people did notice it tells, yeah, some people can tell and some people do care because, I mean, it's a pretty big detail to miss. But this is Roxanne's Racing Club. Looks pretty good. I love all the t-shirts. I love all the merch. Oh, but yeah, that is going to do it. Oh, I didn't show these things off, but again, the the packaging on this stuff is so, it's so fun. I love it. Yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Might be a bit of a long one. I've been recording for about 30 minutes, so I don't know. I'm happy to be back. I know I have a lot of catching up to do. I have a lot of videos to make, and again, I apologize for being gone for so long, but again, thank you for the support while I was gone. I really missed uploading, so I'm ready to get back into it. Again, 
we got a lot of stuff to cover, so I'm hoping we can kind of pick back up pace, but it, it might be a bit slow, being honest. But I am back, so, you know, <laughs> don't worry about me missing for another week or two. I, I am back, videos are coming back, thanks for the support, and that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.